Hey, Bob. Do you know how to get into orbit? Hang okay, on. No, no. What do you mean, no? You're meant to say yes, Bob. You're in a rocket. You're meant to say yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bob, I'm you're, sorry. In a, you're in a rocket. You, what do you mean? You're going to become a uh, mashies or something. You're going to crash. Oh, how has this gone so wrong? What have you done, Bob? You do this. Hello, I'm the block room. And to avoid further accidents, I'm going to show you how to get into orbit safely and simply. So, let's start with some theory, shall we? So the first thing I recommend you do is you go ahead and build yourself a rocket. This is one I made earlier, it's called Minimal One, it's, it's tall, um, it's, it's, it's got a rocket engine, which is it's useful, I recommend you have an engine. Uh, it's got some, some stats, you can see there, it's got, it's got some stuff about Newtons and stuff. So once you built it, we all know what comes next. Yeah, 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 you fly it. All you'd have to do is just push the button and off it goes. Now it's important to note this, it goes up based on thrust, and the thrust comes from boosty stuff that comes out the back of the rocket. Therefore, using complex math, we can derive that the more boosters you have, the more thrust you have. So, be sure to strap plenty of boosters. Plenty of boosters. Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, once your rocket is ascending, be sure to check the altimeter and remain checking it until 10,000 to 15,000 meters. Around this altitude, we are going to perform what is called a gravity turn. To do this, just simply chuck your rocket to the right, about 85 degrees, and keep burning along the horizon until you're there. You'll know you're there by going into the map view, until eventually a PE arrives. When you hover over this PE, when it says 70,000 meters, congratulations! You are now in orbit. But enough of that. Let's go try it in practice. So once you've successfully launched your rocket onto the launch pad, make sure to launch it into space. After you've launched, here's what you need to do. Go up, go up, go up again. Keep going up. Up just a little bit more. All right, now just start to gently, gently. Oh, I might have to edit that out. <laughs> all right, as you can see, this is still our first go here. We're still doing all right. And uh, oh, look at that. Look, perfect gravity turn. Just nice edging it over. Beautiful. Now, as you go over, just keep being sure to burn it. Just keep burning. Just keep going. However, though, be sure to check in the map view and check your apoapsis isn't getting too high from where you actually want to go into orbit. If you're aiming for an orbit of 100 kilometers, try and keep your apoapsis about 100-ish. If you find it's going a bit too far and a bit too fast, just shut off your engines, coast towards the apoapsis, put your rocket then at 90 degrees to the horizon, and just keep burning. That's it. Keep burning. Burn some more. Ooh, here's a nice view of the engine. Now, as you're burning, you will notice Kerbin is slowly getting hugged by this wood wonderful blue circle. Opposite is the periapsis, the little PE boy you see here. Once this little lad makes 70 kilometers, congratulations, you're in orbit, you have done it, here's a little medal, go enjoy yourself, and actually, here's what you can do in orbit in case you just want to try a few things out. Create a ginormous death laser. Create a huge space station. Recreate the film Gravity. Get lost on a spacewalk. So, now you know how to get into orbit. If you did enjoy this, be sure to subscribe for more of these. This was the first episode of any kind of how-to I've done on this channel in this style. I quite like the idea. I want to know what you think. Anything positive or negative, let me know down below. And if you have any requests for any how-tos, be sure to let me know down below as well. And as always, be sure to keep it blocked here on the Block Room.